seeking glory in the greatest of events. Yeah. There are knights on noble steeds, those who will bring them to their knees. There are monsters to test their metal at every turn. The legends will rise based on their merits. There's even pirates riding powers. Ah. It's the grand turn of Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the SLTV Star Series Hearthstone Season 1. We... <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, we're about to cast the game between uh, Cypher and Stanudashi. They're going to be playing their loser's match to see who moves on to face off against... Um, uh, wait, no. Cypher and Firebat are fighting it off to see who's going to fight Stanudashi, who just lost to Tice. Yeah. That's right. Um, That's Tice already you know, sealed up his, uh, his spot in the LAN finals that are gonna, going to be happening in Kiev, if I'm not mistaken. So yep. we'll see him at a live event again. I'm pretty happy to see that. But now we still have to determine who's the second player from today who's going to be doing that. Yeah, pretty cool. Like um, These guys are getting so close now to, uh, to just making it all the way to the to LAN finals and potentially like grabbing some of that uh, huge prize pool. Yeah. Cypher and Fire, but no Fire, but uh, <laughs> well, he, he's a player. He, he's he's been a, uh, he's been playing for a long time, and he he's, he knows like the ups and downs. So probably that Doom here that he got earlier today, which kind of was unfortunate. I don't think he's gonna be too affected by it. I'm sure that he's still gonna give it all his best. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna get uh, to the point where he's just not gonna want to play anymore. And I don't think a Moz will fire him for that. I really doubt it. I think he'll be just fine. Uh, he just still has to beat Cipher. You know, he can still win, right? It's not over. He goes through Cipher. Yeah. He goes through Stanudashi. And he's gonna make it to the land finals alongside Thais, even though they fought off against each other earlier, uh, and he lost that match. So it's double like, standard du double elimination. It'll happen. Somebody might have to play three matches. Yeah, that's just how it goes. Yeah. All right, so uh, the classes for both players, um, they're not exactly the same. They're both sharing mage, but you got Firebat with Paladin mm -hmm. Warrior and Cypher with Hunter Warlock. So they definitely don't have the same metagame in mind. Oh, yeah. Like, Hunter has been a little bit fading out. Before, uh, before GTG, we were seeing it all over the place. It was uh, one of the highest win rate classes, um, especially the hybrid versions and the mid-range ones were very, very strong. But with the recent uh, recent um, update and the recent expansion, Hunter, well, it's still strong. I wouldn't say that it's bad, but it's definitely not as dominant as it used to be. Yeah, I think people are realizing that there are a lot of tier 1 decks that aren't even Hunter, right? You've got Dragon Priest, Patron Warrior, Secret Paladin, a Mech Mage is coming back, and now Hunter is kind of like... Well, I was good before. Maybe I'm not good enough right now. There's, It's still a very strong class. It's in the top oh, yeah. classes, um, and I think... Two of their archetypes are still working well. In tournament play, you can also justify winning Face Hunter as well. You take people off guard, you get a free win um, and a ticket to further in the tournament. I don't know exactly if we'll see too many of that in the future of Hunters, that is. Um, I'm pretty happy that we're seeing a shift away from it, though. Yeah, me too. I, I was maybe like getting a little bit bored of just seeing those same classes over and over again. Like the standards tended to be, before TGC, it was like, kind of like Warlock. Warrior Hunter, like we were seeing a lot of that. Not everyone always, but we were seeing a lot of that. And now Fire, but not bringing a uh, sorry, he is bringing a Warrior, but not bringing a Warlock, not bringing a Hunter. I think it's a, it uh, it makes the matches a lot more exciting too, to see m multiple different classes. Yeah, so we'll see if uh, I mean the Hunter tends to be a little favored against something like Secret Paladin. I know a lot of people right. don't always realize the weakness of Secret Paladin. You know, because it looks so strong, but Hunter is definitely a class that can just wreck it just by using Unleash the Hounds and Owls. Um, if there's Hunter's Marks as well in Cypher's deck, which, based on the fact that it's a mid-range deck, I have to assume there is, that could also negate a Mysterious Challenger very easily. So there's a lot of ways for Hunter to punish. Yeah, uh, it's a huge knowledge. deal. And those, those Unleash, just like playing them against uh, against Master for Battle and some other minions that might potentially be on the board, it's, uh, it's a lot of value. All right, so we're going to see Patron versus Dragon Warlock. Um, you'd rather be playing Handlock here, Cypher. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, well, um, yeah, Handlock, absolutely. Handlock would be um, like heavily favored against Patrons, but the Malagos Warlock, I don't think it's that good. I think it's doable. I but... think it's actually worse than Handlock and Demon Warlock. I, I think yeah, it's actually overall definitely. the worst Warlock to run into Firebat. Absolutely. Right like, I've played a bunch of this uh, as the Malagos Warlock. And I haven't been running the exact list that Cypher is running right now, but the thing is, that, like, the, the threats that you're you are playing early on, they 
they are just not threatening enough. They don't deal enough damage to to end the game off and like before the patron combo happens. And uh, the patron combo, every every like um, like in the end it will happen at some point. And when it happens, it's before the Malugus combo. So it's kind of like this weird situation where, as as the Malugus wallet player, you have to end the game before before the actual Malugus turn most of the time. Yeah, like the the thing is, they're both racing for a combo, but one of them is much better at doing it, and yes. one of them also deals a lot more damage. Because here's the thing, Warrior can stack armor. Your Warlock never will go above 30. So right. even if you have the double Soulfire, double Dark Bomb Dream, that might not be enough to even finish off the Warrior. However, the tempo plays that the Malagos Warlock can make sometimes will remember, uh, will remind you of the uh, the Dragon Priest. You know, sometimes it just blow you out of the game. Yep. Um, and this is kind of how it feels at times. This implosion right here is actually quite meaningful. Oh, only two imps. Because I'm getting the four right here. Those, those four imps could, uh, could add up to a lot of damage. Because they might be there for a few turns, but now it's like, eh, just two. Like, Firebat can just ignore those, really. Well, I mean, is there an argument for playing Cruel Task just to have it be damaged? And then you use your Death Bite to kill something that has three or more attack, and then you Battle Rage for two cards? Yeah, could do it. And usually on turn four, if you have a Death Bite in your hand, you need a really good reason not to play the Death Bite. But here it's like, if you play it, what do you hit with it? Eh, I don't know. Like he can, he could just uh, like a cruel task. I don't, I don't think the cruel task is that critical to to keep for later. Yeah, you've got but, the execute already, so maybe you need to yeah. keep it. It's, it's a lot of things that make the turn. I think you can play in multiple different ways. I like yeah. trying to get a damaged two two. I don't know. Yeah, like the main thing here is that like the, the other options seem to be the the dead spider. And you just, you don't. It's not useful to go face, and it's not useful to hit on him. So what do you do with it? I like this look. Oh, well, that's a good pickup. He needed a dragon to be able to like potentially play the Twilight Guardian. He could also opt to go for the implosion on the on the cruel task just because of how bad implosion is later on in the game. It it, it, it at some point it just becomes unplayable because of the patrons. Yeah. Firebat also with the Twilight Guardian playing that two two here allows him to kill it with the Death Bite. So that's yeah, another consideration that makes the play yeah. even better than it was initially. So for Cipher, I I think the implosion would work out better. If, even if he rolls two, it would probably be the strongest play he can make. He seems to agree, and he's gonna roll the dice. Hope he rolls, uh, you know, something higher than two, and he gets a four. Nice. Pretty good roll, but yeah. Firebat doesn't mind because Firebat needs to be damaged at some point for Battle Rage to cycle. That's right. And here now, that's like that's enough for the for the dead spot to get played. He needs to get the whirlwind effect going. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah. nothing you want to play into this really if you think about it. Although, although you might be happy to let him like force him to attack into the dragon, because as a result of that, he loses the AOE for you know a crazy frogging turn. Right. You could have just played an Azure Drake into it, um, like uh, just to be mana efficient and keep but, the uh, yeah yeah All and right. like keep keep the tone for later on. But this also, like, if there was no slam in Firebat's hand, this. Uh, that the three six, especially having having the six toughness on it, that would be protected from the from the death spite to kill it alone. So uh, it, it's kind of like yeah. Just why, why do you play around? Yeah, the thing is, this matchup is not one where you expect the patrons to stick around, unless you're getting a crazy OTK. Patrons usually just die to Hellfire or Shadow Flame. Yeah, that's so true. So frauding is really your ticket to the victory. Oh, Firebat here decides that the um, Death Spite is worth more than this. I kind of agree with him. Like, is there really a reason to just uh, hit here? He, he can afford to take that extra hit. Yeah, and I mean, if he has to pop the Death Spite, he can always do, do it with Harrison Jones on the board, and then he Battle Rages. That gives him right. uh, an extra two cards. Yeah. Hmm. It, it is some damage, but th this is where the Imps really count for, from Cypher's like, uh, point of view, because they, they're throwing that high on the second implosion. It, it helps. Like Every little bit counts, because Cypher, Cypher is the one who has to make things happen fast. Yeah, far about the moment he picks up, you know, Emperor, Patron, there's a lot of cards that he could find that are going to help him out. This is not quite it yet. Um, and he can't quite go and kill the Azure Drake if he goes for the mm -hmm. Harrison Jones. I think he's just forced in a weird spot. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, do you Armor Smith, the Armor Smith frothing? But, I mean, you need that frothing to kill him. If, if, no, the frothing, I, I don't think you can play the frothing here. Oh, 
Could you do it next turn? Could you do it next turn? You go Warsong, Frothing, Inner Rage, Whirlwind, Death's By, do you win? <laughs> I haven't even calculated this out. But there's not enough minutes left, right, to do it. Yeah, He's gonna Battle Rage. I don't think it's quiet, yeah. He's gonna go for the Frothing here. Yeah, get that Battle Rage value. Yeah, it does give him that extra guard from the Battle Rage, but it just, it's, gonna, it's gonna get big camp hunter. He knows there's two big game hunters, so he, he is uh, he is aware that this might happen, but just values that extra guard very high. It actually looks pretty okay for Cypher right now. Like Firebat no. hasn't been able to put down the the kill that he was looking for. Okay. Three cards. Well, that's sort of stuff. Yeah, patrons up, and there's the whirlwinds already established, but no uh, no emperor to facilitate the kill. No. The Thorison is uh, is the card that he wants to find right now as, as fast as possible. That's the key card. If he doesn't find it anytime soon, uh, I don't know. Like he, he probably can't deal enough. How, how do you how do you kill your opponent? Like, even at ten mana, like just the patrons. The, yeah. the warlock is still at twenty four. You would need double inner rage, but you've already used one up on the acolyte early to draw. Right. So probably not going to happen just off of that. But then again, you can look at his hand. It's it's definitely winnable. It's yeah. going to be taking a little bit more effort than he might like. We have, I want to point it out that Cypher actually with a ton of damage in his hand right now. Yeah. He has two Dark Bombs, he has the Abusive, even the Hellfire. He only has eight mana next, on so he can't go like double Dark Bomb, Abusive, Hellfire, but still, that's a ton of damage. It just might be enough depending on what Firebat does here. Alright, so he plays a Ghoul, do you go double Ghoul? Is that ever worth it? I mean, with a weapon, he could at least delay his death by killing the zombie chow. But right now, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. um, ghoul and whirlwind, but then the owl would really punish you. Like an owl would actually be Cypher's wet dream. Yeah, if there's just one ghoul coming down. Exactly. Not nothing seems perfect for for Fiverr right now. Double ghoul. Wow, there we go. Is he playing the bait. Okay, double ghoul. I was like, is he going for the patron maybe behind the town? Because then Hellfire would uh, kind of like, kill both players' minions, but Shadow Flame, like Shadow Flame on the other hand, it would only clear up, uh, clear up fire on that side of the board. I mean, Cypher can, doesn't even have to use a card here, he can just double trade. So he's going to Shadow Flame his 2 1 to keep. Well, no, he's going to lose the Drake in the 4 2 anyway. Just, 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 just trade ready. them away. Yeah. yeah, I think you just trade the 4 2s. I mean, they're gonna die to the double hit. Unless you have the owl, of course, right? Like, the owl is the defining card. I I, kind of, I really like just trading the four twos for the, for the ghouls here. Like, it's, everything else is like, so it's, it's kind of a waste. Because look, they're like dying, <laughs> dying anyway. No, wait, what? <laughs> like, why would you do anything else? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, unless you had the yeah. owl, you, you probably then would maybe consider doing something exactly, else. Exactly, yeah. In this case, uh,. I don't think it does much. Not this going for it. Play a Drake. That's actually pretty sweet for him because he still keeps a board, and if there's no weapon to contest this, he might still stay ahead. Mm -hmm. 22 health. Critical, critical. <laughs> but one frothing is already gone, and no Emperor has been played, so it's a bit limited on what the Firebat can exactly make happen. I don't know, man. The War Song, Patron, Inner Rage, Whirlwind. That's a lot of things, but. Oh, it's certainly not bad. That's 16, no, that's 14 damage right there, but I don't know if it's enough just yet. He's He might just whirlwind once for safety. Yeah, probably will. Uh, I like that. Slam, whirlwind, execute the drake. Oh, that's pretty smooth. I like it. you really safe. I mean, you get that's the health really back. Good. I don't think you need to save the execute. I mean, yeah, they could be like a naked Demolicus next turn, but then you don't have the execute anymore, but it's, uh, it's not too bad. Oh, he's... I mean that one. That means he's keeping the whirlwind. Because if he was whirlwinding here, he obviously would have slammed the, the other one. Um, maybe it just means he's not executing. Or he's just executing. Oh yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, what what it does, it I guess, allows him to get a frothing number two as a possible out. And mm -hmm. either way, those little two ones will die. So, so I, can, yes. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough by keeping about the whirlwind chestnuts for next turn. Uh, and how much does he have? He has nine damage on the, in his hand right now, and he has seven on the board, so not quite there yet. Three damage off from Lethal. 
So if we're kind of, is it like a Twilight Guardian? Is it a heal bot then? Do you feel like you're... I feel heal? like you kind of want to, just because you might die. I would even trade those two little guys away, I don't know. Because if there's another frothing and you get run right. over, I think uh, keeping extra minions would just be a drawback. Yeah. Like the only thing about it is that then he misses like a little bit of face damage if he goes for the trades. A, a lot of I, face, yeah. But those are, he knows that there are no whirlwinds have been casted yet. So uh, those uh, those two ones are unlikely to get much value. Like they, they are they are going to die, die yeah. So yeah. But All Cypher's right. still not setting up lethal. So even if Firebird does not go off here, which he, I guess he won't. It's just you you wouldn't hear with the uh, like with the acolyte. I mean with the War Song patron with double whirlwind in a rage. Do you really need that frothing to win the game? I'm guessing that's what he's digging for. Yeah. Or uh, like an Emperor if here. Yeah. So one patron, one whirlwind? I guess so. Oh man. Don't think it's gonna work out at all though. Alright, so he's doing the first wave of the combo without um, relying on the patron, oh. on, on the frothing. But here's the problem. Uh, he knows Shadow Flame and Hellfire are both in the range of his opponent. Ah, there we go. He did pick up the frothing. Yeah, but the Shadow Flame, man, it's so, it's so good here. Yeah, the 3-2 has no more purpose anyway. Nope. Might as well get rid of it and heal up. Oh, this is going to be tricky for Firebat because he, he, he played both of his ghouls already. He doesn't have a Death Spite setup, so he only has the one Worlding effect remaining. Yeah, my assumption is that he's probably dead on the following turn, but we'll have to see what Firebat can put together. Yeah. And that's the Shadow Flame. Let's see what Firebat picks up. But if he gets like the best possible card, is it gonna be good enough? Uh, this fight is kind of a good card, but yeah, it's kind of good. But you're dead. I mean, shield yeah. block <laughs> would probably oh oh. Was... Is that the card that's gonna buy him an extra? I think it it is. He needs like oh, oh my god, oh. firebat. That's insane. Is he still dead? He's got 16 health. He's got 18 health. There's seven on board plus nine. He's actually still alive. That Nailed shield it. block and execute, man. Wow. What a if card. If you didn't pick up the, like, those exact cards, this game would be just over. I think that's the case, yeah. Oh, oh, oh that's still okay. over. It's still over. Cypher spots it right away. He's oh. like, yeah, get wrecked, patron. <laughs> yeah, it brings oh. joy to his heart, just like it does to all of our hearts. Thing is, um, I remember Strife Crow, we were talking about this. He, he was like, you know, there's only one deck that I really get emotional about, and it's Patron. Because I love Hearthstone when I can play cards. And he's like, I can't play cards against Patron. And they're just like, they're just playing around with their cards, and I can't even uh, interact with them. So yeah, Cypher I feel takes the same it. way. But uh, Patron's getting uh, getting wrecked there, never never drawing that Emperor, and kind of forced on the defense a little bit earlier than uh, he would have been comfortable with. Yeah, we'll see if Fireback can get the win against uh, one of those two decks. Those two decks he's facing off against aren't exactly the worst. The especially the um, the hunter, he can probably nail that one. The mage, yeah. however, could be a bit trickier. Not too bad. I mean, uh, he should be able to squeeze the win, win with his with, with this warrior later on. So that's not a problem. But that that Malagus Warlock from Cipher. And, so my Fireback might have had some uh, like a some other like good matchups. Like some some ways to like kind of punish the Malagus with his other decks potentially, but. Yeah, as the Cypher were up 1 0, and uh, now we go to Patrons against Thunder. An old school matchup. <laughs> Haven't seen this one in a while. Yeah, it's been a long time, but I, I think high mains are still really important the same way they used to be. The thing is, now they can also fuel a patron in some cases if it's too late. Yeah. Um, and Firebat's got a War Axe, right? So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good draw from Firebat. It's looking so smooth. Pretty preemptively setting up the ghoul. He's like, if you play Mad Scientist, I kill it. If you play Juggler, well, you won't. Yep. And he's like maybe it. happy to trigger the Freezing Trap as soon as possible. Is that a dream when you're playing Patrons against Hunter? Like, can you get a better draw than this? I don't think so. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. If it's not the perfect draw, it's at least close. And Cypher on the other hand, drawing things like... Uh, well, he does have an animal companion for three, it's rare for four. 
Yeah, you mean leash. he's gonna die. Yeah. To, the Huffer's dead. <laughs> Rip Huffer. Oh my god, poor Huffer. Yeah. Cypher is scouting out decently, so this game is not over just yet, even though Firebath does have that amazing draw. It never that's, is quite over. Yeah, that's rather in too low defense. As strong as it gets for those turns 4 and 4 and 5. At least close. Yeah, we'll see if he opts to go for I mean, not playing the Shredder is it feels like a mistake, but you see the Acolyte at 3 attack, you gotta feel a little bad about that. Right. Yeah. So it makes you reconsider whether or not you really want to curve out. You're like, do I really want to curve here or wish I had you a bonus? might have to like just freeze and jump or something. The Shredder feels so poor and he's low on minions, but it's hard to pass up on it anyway, like turn four. If he gets lucky, he gets some. He might get something really amazing from that. Like Fire a plus mana storm or totem golem. Yeah, I mean, would they? In this case, they almost they almost don't matter much. Yeah, kind of, I guess, because even even if he got one of those, there would be a slam in fire Yeah. All right. Well, good luck, Cipher. Playing. Uh, you're up. Oh, up. Oh, ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is this is this where things start looking a bit better for Cipher? The a little gives I mean, that's, him a little bit of trading value. That's a good card, but he's he's pretty far behind right now. Firebat's still at twenty five, and Firebat has he has everything. He has like, just death spots, and even, even the Ember are already there. No Warzone Commander, but I'm sure he will pick it up soon. And there's the death spot, the first one. Like that's that's a card, and obviously you like uh, you you don't even like, it's so good you don't even mind picking up two of them. Quite often when you draw weapons, you're kind of like, well, one is the right amount. I want one, but yeah, I mean sometimes you get stuck with like two war axes and two death spies, but then you're exactly. like, I'm just not gonna play the war axes and I'm just gonna win anyway. Yeah. So you just play death spies instead. Some people uh, actually argue that death spies is probably like the best card in the game contextually. Because for the deck close. that it belongs to, it's doing more yeah. work than any other card. I mean, Mysterious Challenger is kind of like that, right? Um, yeah. Where it just like defines the deck super heavily. I kind of agree with that statement. I, I think it's uh, it's truly amazing card. And uh, what I was going at la my last comment was that I, it's would rather to have two dead spites in my hand than have zero. It's such a powerful thing, even though you can play one at a time. Uh, there's a lot of phase damage in Cypher's hand. I mean, if Firebat goes for Emperor, so three nine. Yeah, he's looking at like 11 damage right here. Oh. Could there be a lethal pickup? No, I don't I, I can't it's... imagine. It would have to be like... No, not even Arcane Golem would do no. it. Even Arcane Golem would be uh, 2 Which, damage. Yeah. And now you... you see Firebat really low. It's, it's down to 15 now with those double shield blocks. So yeah, he's actually on 25, basically. Yeah. It's pretty insane with those shield blocks. Yeah, if Firebat doesn't go for shield blocks, um, he might just die. And I think he spots it. After yeah. this happens, he's just like, okay, this is this is really sketchy. That quick shot right there gives it away that uh, better shield block fast. Yeah. And uh, why not get more Emperor triggers, you know, if I can? I'll, I'll take yeah. them. Pretty good. Yeah, Cy uh, Cypher like... seeing that shield block is like, oh god, what have I done? Yeah. That quick shot's not working out so well, but he had two of those in, hand, in his hand, and he knows that he's not gonna win the game by quick shotting minions, so might as well throw one right now. Alright, min max the armor gain um, and get as many Emperor triggers as you can. Seems to be yep. a rule when you play this type of deck. Yeah, even, even one Emperor effect is so powerful, but getting two, that's like. <laughs> that's so insane for a, for a combo deck. I mean, can you really justify not pushing? I mean, if you have to play it slowly here in your Cypher, you would have at least had to draw a high main to justify it, I feel. Yeah, um, even, even with the high main, it's like at this point, I think you just gotta, gotta, gotta have to go all in, just like play your entire hand. <laughs> Maybe not the quick shot, everything except the quick shot. Right, just, just cycle, the it. Best. cycle it next turn. Um, just hope for the best. I mean, it's unlikely that he could ever come back from this, but just going desperately for face and like praying that Firebat's hand is somehow very clunky. You uh, could kill the Emperor here if you want. I don't know if that's worth it. Oh. You can okay. wipe the board and have minions left over or something. Alright. 
interesting. Hey, so uh, because the freezing trap, he wanted to clear the spawn. Yeah, just, but there's just... a lot of armor right now in Firebat's hand with that whirlwind, the death bite, the patron, the shield block. Yeah. This is like game over right here. And here we go. Patron doing patron things. Oh man. Everyone, you know what to do. <laughs> uh, you don't have to get in here. Just like sit there and take the armor. Don't fight. No fights. Uh, even the battle rage. Right? Look at this. This is, this is, this is pretty. <laughs> this is so cruel. If you cipher watching this right now, it's like you start thinking about the next match already. Yeah, like, somebody uh, actually proposed a change to Patreon that I found amusing. I, I think it would just kill the deck completely. Um, and I, I really hate the idea, but it was whenever this minion fights and survives damage. Interesting. So whenever it fights with a minion instead of, you know, getting whirlwinded to death, um, then that would be kind of two different types of damage. I think it's an interesting solution to it, but I, I highly doubt that Blizzard would uh, choose a path like that in case they decide to nerf it. Yeah, I think it's way... it kills the card completely for the most yeah. part, so... It would be a little uh, a little sad if they did. Alright, so Firebat yep. does nail down the win with the Patron. Leaves him with two decks, and they're both equal in score at the moment. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, that's the Patron win, and it, it, it looks pretty easy for him, but also like, that's, that draw from fire that is way above average. It's, it was almost it, almost a dream. I mean, if the starting hand we were talking about, it, it doesn't get much better than that. And after that, he just kept drawing even more uh, more fitting cards, like the, like the Emperors and like the Death Spites. That was just everything. Yeah, so Firebass got a secret Paladin, we know that. Uh, he might have yeah. to queue it up, unless he feels the Mage is a bit better. Overall, he still has to win with everything, so... Pick your deck and just go all in. He's got the Pally against the mid-range Hunter and Cypher. Cypher's got a pretty okay hand to say the least. Yeah, this is an interesting matchup to me. Actually, I know I know this sounds weird because both of the players are playing like aggro decks and it's a lot of going for face. But there's there's a lot of these small decisions where you go for trades instead, and I think uh, it's not as uh, not as uh, easy always to spot the situation where you have the code trades than than uh, some people might think. Yeah, I was gonna say Cypher has a crazy hand, but Firebat with the Arsene Squire in his mulligan, it really helps him stay on the board. Especially since Cypher doesn't even have a 2-2 or a 3-2 to play on this turn. Yeah. Firebat should... would love to pick up something for turn 2 and 3. If, if he manages to find like a shielded mini bot or master for battle, he should be in, in, uh, in great shape. But right now, it's, just, it's like a tiny bit clunky. Yeah, he has a lot of good cards. But uh, again, like no play for turn two, and looks like no play for turn three. All right, Lepernome coin snake trap. Let's do this. Get all the <laughs> one ones. Uh, I would imagine that he's gonna keep that coin for the high man, but it could happen. I mean, I wouldn't be too surprised, but almost certainly he would. Uh, he will keep it. Yeah. yeah, he's got no curve otherwise ever. Oh, oh look at muster that. for firebat, and there is no unleash for cipher to stop this. Nope. Oh man. It's a good card, a good card to draw, to say the least. All right, here we are. I mean, whatever Cypher plays gets countered by the True Silver. He has to be playing defensively here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he finds the Unleash. Oh, what did you pick up? Nope. Yeah, and you're definitely not freezing trapping this, so good luck to you, Cypher. This is not a position I'd like to be in. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see Fire Badge just not care it and just... Wow. I mean, you could it's just like, smork it. Like, let the yeah. let Cypher pick up his crazy juggler unleash if he has it. Um, but. Five otherwise... knows that there's no unleash after that Lepernome and three. Like, if there was an unleash, it would have happened. Like, I don't think Five even needs to draw anything more. I think he has everything he needs for the remaining of the game. I mean, I could see an argument to play around the juggler coin unleash, and that would be just trading away some damage away. But because you're not losing the board, it's still fine. Um, Seems if, like it, so. Yeah, Maybe. if you were putting yourself behind, I think you could maybe justify not doing it. But since you're still ahead, it's maybe better to play safely. I can understand that. Yeah, I like. I kind of like this because he also knows that he's playing against the mid range. Oh, <laughs> look at that top deck card. Yeah, and here we go. Uh, he can wow. still clear up the board, right? Unleash abusive. The, whatever is in that shredder, though, uh, will stay on the board. That's true. He, he would need one more mana to be able to also play the Owl. The Owl is not that efficient here. He might even be like tempted to kind of keep the Unleash at this point. I would be too surprised. I don't know, like other options seem so bad. Maybe he just has to go for it. 
Um, what if you no? Hmm. I was gonna say what if you just owl, but there's like ten thousand things to owl in this deck. That yeah, like the, the, the buffs. Yeah, like the buffs for mainly like keep blessing of kings and maybe sometimes even even like avengers and yeah. Light well, come on, give him a light well. <laughs> I want to see a light well. I demand a light well. Hello. Hello. Um, that's a pretty okay card. Yeah, not yeah. bad at all. So do you play the true server just before your, your turn 6? I guess you have to, because you'll never yeah. get an opportunity to. Yeah. Like this, the way that this hand is set up, like he has a turn 6, 7 and 8. There won't be any time to play the true silver on the following 3 turns at least. So it makes a lot of sense to just get it out right now. So Cypher, I heard uh, you wanted to hit me in the face or kill my Annoitron. Well, I raise the Mysterious Challenger. Good luck with this. The Repentance is pretty poor draw here. I think it's likely that, that um, I have only place one, so that might have even been the, the worst uh, Actually, it draw. probably is the best one, because you don't want it to come out necessarily on this turn. I don't know. Oh, in that maybe, sense. Maybe but... it's nice to play it after you've seen some of the weaker stuff. I don't know. That, that's a really yeah. good point that you bring up that it's like a bad card. It's an interesting way to look at it. Because uh, that's also true. Like you know, now he can kind of try to play it on a turn where it matters. But on the other hand, like that's like same as not drawing a card at all. In you in know in a weird way, because he could have um had it on the board right away. Yeah, like he could have drawn any other card, and then it's like, yeah, because now he, he could have gotten it for free. Because the the normal thing to do is that people are uh, people usually run two of each secret except for the repentance. Yeah, it's a single. Uh, single so he like copy. the only one that he potentially only runs one copy of. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I don't mind getting stuck, quote unquote, with Noble Sacrifice. I mean, it gives you a lot of leeway in many turns where you're like Juggler, Noble Sack, and then you're forcing them in a really awkward spot. Oh, Cypher not happy about the Avenge. He was hoping for it to land on the on the Annoyatron instead because he's, he will have to silence it, so that would have worked out way better for him. Yeah, it's a little clunky, actually. Um, so if you push face, you're laying the Paladin. Yep. Like playing defensively, and I think maybe Firebat won't be too happy about doing that. It's but he gets, he gets to trade, he gets to trade yeah. easily, and even Consec the Hyena is out, so. How much, how much damage is that though? I think he, he actually. I think with he has Consec? Lethal. Yeah, with That's Consec lethal. he has. Yeah, he's got it with Consecration, exactly yeah. lethal actually. Exactly lethal with Consecration, wow. What a beautiful kill, Firebat. That's a beautiful kill. <laughs> Could say that. Nicely like Yes! That. All right, so Firebat's taking the lead 2-1 over Cypher. So Cypher is still struggling with the Hunter. Uh, he's got a free, like a Tempo Mage deck to face off against. I can't imagine it's that amazing to face off against necessarily, because mm -hmm. they play Tempo the same way that you do. Yeah, it's 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 pretty tricky. It's, it's gonna be an interesting match to sure to uh, to watch. Yeah, Rowan's a bit of a dead draw though. Yeah. Wow, that, that's that was like the Paladin secret deck, uh, like the mid range version at, at its best, really. I, I think that another really, really good draw from Fire, but the early game not not like the best ever with the turn two hero power. But aside from that, just like curving out so nice. I, when I play secret Paladin, I don't draw like that. Yeah, neither do I. Firebat's actually got uh, it's gonna be Mech Mage versus Tempo Mage. So turns yep. out Firebat's playing a more uh, you know classic version without you know the heavy Mech emphasis, and Cypher's got the Mech Warper shenanigans early. Well, Firebat has the better hand right now. If you I ask think me. so, yeah. No, no Gog Master from Cypher and that Mech Warper. Oh, <laughs> there it is, but it's a tiny bit late. So does Firebat go uh, Sorcerer Apprentice coin portal? I don't think you have to necessarily coin here. Yeah, that was the question, because your next turn you could always just yeah. hold on for better value. I mean, he could go for it for them, because if he gets a minion that's 3 mana or less, he can already get it on the board, and he knows that the, the matchup is so like heavily reliant on tempo, so I, I can understand going for it here. But anything with like four or more mana, it kind of would have worked out better to, to just save it for the next turn. Yeah. To save the I mean, it's not that like the owl is not bad, but in this matchup, it's like you you're having to deal with the full size minion more yeah. so than the ability of the minion. So you're more worried about something like a blast mage being like enabled than you are about um, whatever the ability of the minion is. Right. So, yeah, not too exciting to get the owl here. I mean, it's not. 
it's not bad. You can't say that the owl is, is an awful card to get. There's way worse things that could happen from the portal, but not what he was looking for. So do you go for the arcane missiles potential, frostbolt potential? That's you know four outs in your deck. Flame cannon, frost. Ball. Yeah, there, there's a lot of outs I think in Firebat's deck that would make this a little better than it is. It's hard to pass up the scientist though, because it's really good tempo. But he's playing the effigy and counter spell. Right. So it, he won't get the mirror entity. It's like a weird situation, because if he was playing the mirror entities right now, I would really love to see the scientist, because in case that there's something like a blast mage or, or so, um, the blast mage would actually get copied if, it, if the battle cry kills the scientist. Yeah, even Tinker Town, right? Like, there's a lot of cards yeah. that you expect from the mech mage that. Um, you might want to deny it. Turns out Firebash is going to play for full tempo. He's going to yeah. get a free kill, maybe, on the 3-2. If he wants to silence it off, he gets, a, he gets to make a trade and let Cypher play the Blast Mage to full potential. We didn't see all of the cards in uh, all of the secrets in Firebats decks, I believe. But we, we, but we didn't. We, so there might be a, uh, a mirror entity. Yeah, we haven't but seen that much like... from it. Okay. Alright, that's, that's alright. It's not perfect, but it's definitely okay. Yeah. The disaster would have been the, the double hit on the scientist and the mirror entity, because the, the, the remaining minions on the board would not even like contest it. So now that's uh, like a pretty good tempo game for Cypher in the end. What to do? Yeah, and Firebat's follow-up turn looks really blank, and you have Cypher sitting there with Lotheb, which probably helps him seal the board against this deck. Oh, yeah. Firebat does have the Azure Drake, so it's not like he will have an empty turn after that, but... Still like yeah, but his turn, four, his turn 4 is pretty much empty, I mean... Oh. It, also, by the way, I, I want to like point out the, the silence on the Gogmaster. He, he valued getting that two, 2 power away from uh, from Cypher more than the spare part. Because there, there could have been arguments made in favor of uh, also silencing the Clockwork Gnome because of the, the mentioned uh, counter spell in Firebat's deck. Because not silencing the Clockwork Gnome uh, will, uh, will give a... Uh, Cypher an easy way to get rid of the counter spawn when it when it does pop out. Yeah. Yeah, which is one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like playing uh, counter spell, like or playing spare, right. like mechanical yeti in their in their mech mage when they play counter spell because you're giving your opponent that spare part, yeah. uh, and you can't afford doing so. Well, we'll Wild see whether pitch. or not that's it. It's effigy uh, with the Drake. That's okay. Yeah. It's Quite nice. Definitely the better one to get here, obviously. Like if that was the counter spell, it would have been such, a, such an awful situation. Cypher here, he's, bigger, he's making like the same uh, same guess as we have that uh, there's probably no meter entity and just place the low tap. If, if there was a meter entity, there would have definitely been like better place for him available than just that. Yeah, so Firebat going for the coin on Stable Portal did not get rewarded. If it had, however, been something like a 3-drop, it would have probably been better yeah. than what he got. And I think that might have been enough to equalize the tempo in the game. I think because so, though. I, yeah. It was like that really early turn where things kind of turned around. And right now, unless... I mean, Cypher could almost just ignore this board and just punch face. And those even things, taunt up the Shredder, because why not? Yeah, those things really matter. If Firebat got that turn to, like, the, the coin on Steel Portal, if that was, like, a 2-3 or 3-2, the board could have potentially, like, snowballed completely differently, and uh, the game would just look <laughs> look completely different than what it is right now. Yeah, I don't think there's a Blizzard either in Firebat's deck. So, do you go for the Hail Mary, please win? Yes, he has to go for it. And we're gonna Arcane Intellect first, and, like... Yeah, see what you pick up. Yeah, like maybe there is something, but I don't think there's anything he can even like draw, even if he got the best things possible. Uh uh. He spoke too soon. What could he get at four mana though? Um I don't even know. Oof. Yeah. That's yeah, it. That's nothing. That's just nothing. Firebat's gonna be down to his uh you know last deck and Cypher's gonna have to be going for his last deck as well. So yeah. Hunter is gonna be back on the drawing board for Cypher. Yeah. The Hunter not being very good for, for uh, Cypher so far. Both of his losses are, are with that with that Hunter, but this might be the matchup that he can take down. It, it's going to be a close one. The early turns, uh, like turns one through four, like, those are so key. Like whoever gets the early advantage should, should be uh, heavily favored. 
Yeah, I think both decks are playing for tempo, especially the mid-range yeah. version of Hunter. The arcane missiles with the flame wow. waker, however, pretty much the nuts for Firebat, giving it on the coin as well. I want to emphasize that. Yeah. Um, there is, I, I think the coin may actually be more important to tempo mage than it is to rogues. Well, wow, that's uh, that's that's a big statement. Yeah, because the coin is so important to to rogue, but uh, yeah, it, it might be like the the second deck kind of to say that uh, that you rather have the coin than. Uh, the not yeah. so almost everything else like it's pretty straightforward like in my mind at least that uh, you, you want to go first it's better to go first but in this situation that coin might be really good in the end we'll see how much he can leverage it all right he's not gonna leverage it too much for now he's just like well just bargain missiles you got a two drop i'll play the <sighs> mad scientist so he's gonna stay on curve and keep his coin for an inevitable like turn four flame waker into coin unstable um yeah. Something yeah, like that. Looking pretty okay for him here. Yeah. Hmm. If he gets the effigy from the scientist, it might be fine to just like play the play the flame waker naked, with, even without doing like any uh, any spells with it on the same turn. Because it's kind of like, it's quite a quite a bit of tempo. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, going for full tempo gets a yeah. two three gets the mad scientist. That lets him really uh, take the advantage of the board, which Cipher is gonna have to slow down if he wants to negate. Yeah, it is a tempo matchup, so that's kind of like I can understand this. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. But uh, he no longer has the coin for the Flame Waker, so there won't be those, so to say, like free missiles coming in. Well, that's a kind of. I mean, I guess it's an okay outcome, but Quick Shot would have done the same thing. But you're curving out more nicely with the Animal Companion. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so you're guaranteed the effigy if you uh, if you ever lose the Mad Scientist here, right? Yeah. But he cannot, unfortunately, like, to dock with off right now, so... <laughs> I think he's okay with that, because, I mean, what you have to deny is the Houndmaster play, of course. So attacking here makes a lot of sense. Um, Cypher with the full clear here with the quick shot. Oh, no, or abusive sergeant from the top, so that's even... No, wait, it's no longer a full clear then. It would have been a full clear, I think, if he didn't out yeah. the scientist. That was the uh, the one difference there. Right. Firebat. Yeah, I was thinking quick shot and uh, quick shot and owl uh, and just raid the one ones in, but it does make kind of sense because you now he gets another two one in the board, so the board state is kind of the same after the trade. All right, so I mean, I'll take a three mana light spawn. I think it might actually see play at three mana. Funny yeah. enough. Too bad. I don't, I don't think it's a bad card. It's a bit weak to silence, but the owl just got played. Yeah, everything's weak to silence anyway. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, you could play for the tempo with this. You could also go counter spell ping, and you know there's a lot of ways you can approach this turn. Mm -hmm. You know there's high main, so fireball being used here would really feel horrible. I think keeping your three three and a three two challenges the shredder well enough. And if your board stays like this and his doesn't improve, you stand to just take this. I think. Yeah. Cipher with uh, with a really nice quick shot here, able to take that out and draw a card. What is it? Animal oh, Companion, so you yeah, can't quite offer. play it, but... Yeah, four more damage to face, you're good to go. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, a little a little shy of uh, getting his Flame Strike value. So he's going to test for Freezing. He doesn't mm -hmm. want to trigger Snake accidentally if it is. Yeah, no way. So... Oh, yeah. he knows the Snakes, he's seen it many times. Yeah, this kind of spell is going to be good for Cypher. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, good for Firebat. For, for Firebat, yeah. Does find its value. Breaks even with the 3 mana Animal Companion. Unleash is the worst stop deck, I think. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Knowing the secrets in Firebat's deck, it's an easy high man. No need to worry about the um, mirror entry. Uh, uh, do you just buy yourself? I mean, that that's good, right? That's got to be okay ish. Do you YOLO with the Dr. Boom? He does have the counter spell up. Right, you Do can't you get kill commanded. I would actually like Dr. Boom after that counter spell play, right? Yeah. Because you know it's guaranteed not to be Freezing Trap. So you yeah. know it's Snake, and if you ever have to trigger it, you got Flame Strike on the back end. Oh, yeah. I think Boom is the play. It's it's the play to win. I mean, you're yeah, dead I mean, to it's... bow, but I guess you were dead to bow. Like, you're gonna die to it anyway. Yeah, like, you can just survive a bow for one turn, but it's not gonna win you the game to, like, do anything else but the boom here. This is absolutely the best play to it. Like, it's not, it's like frostbolting the 
Is oh, that it? No, not quite, but he could just t like eat up. One in three. Uh, yeah, he could eat up the uh, Dr. Boom, like with the Hunter's Mark with the counter spell, and then he gets mm -hmm. the Huffer and he wins right away. Um, I mean. Oh, no. Whoa, Cypher with a punish. Really? Did it? Maybe he did that intentionally, actually. So he wants to trade a sweater for it. Yeah? It's oh, wow, alright. Interesting. I still find it a little bit interesting. Oh! That's an okay top. I mean, no. Firebat could theoretically. I mean, how much damage has he got? He's got 5 damage plus, you know, another 9. He's not quite on lethal, but he can pop the high main and flame strike. It's just that then he gives his opponent the ability to win the game. <laughs> you know? Milo has a big deal here. Yeah. That's a huge deal. If it was something something small, he could have like trainer boom for boom but for it and maybe like ping and just frost bolt the high man to to give it at bay for for another turn. So yeah. That's mail house, it kinda of changes things up. I mean you can't fireball it because it's kind of a waste of damage. Yeah, definitely it's it's too much to waste. He could just kinda of like hope for the best, go try to kill it with a boom but with a lucky boom but maybe he can take out the mail house. Even getting the boom button face, I guess that wouldn't be like that bad. Yeah, so I first play with the Hunter's Mark was actually correct because if you think about it, he doesn't have lethal yet. Mm. So maybe it's a bit of too much of an all in. Yeah, could be. But Misham also, it's a, we gotta remember that it's a taunt, so. Yeah. It might have like bought him another turn. Yeah, I can yeah, see. That's so why going for the flame strike. To the face, okay. It's not exactly what he's looking for, but he'll take it. Alright, he's giving his opponent the ability to find, I mean, a bow, and anything that deals a bit of damage is going to put you on a clock. Um, mm. Yeah, like Blood. this, he's dead next turn, right? Is he? He's got no, the Frostbolt, right? Frostbolt's face. He lives. Yeah. Does he play heal bots in that deck? I mean, Ar Archimage is the win. Uh -huh. Lothab is kind of good. How much is that going to Because he got Frostbolt. That's actually no. possibly a win for Firebat. How much is that? So he's down to 15, so Fiber does still need some help. But how do you how do you dodge double kill command double unleash? Like how the hell do you do that? Oh my <laughs> god, Cypher <laughs> with the weapon! Oh my god! Firebat with another fireball in his deck. Doesn't find the lethal off no, of it, unfortunately. Turn to night is one turn late. Is there anything you could ever find in your deck that saves you? He no longer has the mana for double fireball. Yeah, he can't do it. One damage off, is he? Or one mana off? He's oh one damage God. off lethal, or one mana off lethal, put it the way you want, but that Archmage was a bit late to the party, and Cypher is gonna take it by a hair's breadth. Wow. This is crazy. What a finish to this. That was so close. I can't believe it. Well, Firebat's out. That's it, guys. Like he's not moving on to the uh, the, the the finals for sure. Cypher's got a chance at beating Stanodashi. Uh, I think they're going to be able to participate in the last chance tournament. I think to swing back in, um, if I'm not mistaken. So we might see a bit more Firebat. But as far as we know right now, there's like no way for them to get in, unless it's the last call. I'm not sure if it's last call or last chance um, yeah. for the next step. So yeah, I mean Firebat got. 0-2 today, uh, a little unfortunate you know, RNG on his side, but of course, uh, you know, that's Hearthstone, he'll do that to anyone once in a while. We have Cypher up against Tonodashi next up, you know, one guy from Fate to Karma, um, one guy from Hellraisers, they fought up against each other in the first match of the day, and uh, Stan, Stan bought uh, one over Cypher, so there's a chance that this happens again, in which case, you know, Cypher's attempts at winning will have been futile, but he can come back. What a worthy game five there for that uh, last series. <laughs> yeah, I was actually surprised it was this close. I thought you know the hunter was so far ahead for a while, and um, there was no way for like initially you saw Firebat's hand. Like, yeah, the coin, arcane missiles, and everything. Um, mm -hmm. But Cipher's plays were correct. I mean, the hunter's mark, especially. I think that's the point where I was just uh, flabbergasted. They didn't try mm -hmm. to win right away, but looking at it afterwards, I think playing yeah. it slowly might have been uh, a good line to play. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, it, it wasn't a mistake from him. He, he was he was definitely doing that intentionally. He was aware of the counter spell. I don't think he got surprised by it. Yeah, his face didn't indicate surprise. So mm -hmm. we'll be taking a ten minutes break before the last match of the day, guys. If you want to conclude it, just stick around. We'll be back in ten minutes. Don't go anywhere.
From east to west, heroes are sent, seeking glory in the greatest of events. No. There are knights on noble steeds, those who will bring them to their knees. There are monsters to test their metal at every turn. Oh. Legends will rise based on their merits. There's even pirates riding parrots. Ah. It's the grand. <laughs> 